Hello everybody and welcome back to Fiend Folio. We are back again and we're going to be jumping in this time as Golem, one of the new characters from Fiend Folio. We checked out Fiend the other day, now it's time for Golem. This guy is, from what I've heard, one of the most fun modded characters that exists. Apparently he has some really interesting mechanics. I know a little bit about him. I saw the teaser. Um, of course we've already got this. So we've got these little rocks in our bottom left here, as you can see. These are like basically trinkets. And this guy has like loads and loads of different trinkets. As you can see here, rocks and barter. Um, so right now we've got a dirt clump. This is going to be ground um, for free. Rock trinket. And we've also got the rolling rock. 0.05 speed up after clearing a room without taking damage. Caps at 0.15 bonus resets upon entering a room after taking damage. Okay. And then we can just click this button and it'll open up a nice little... I love that animation. A nice little room here. And yeah, this is basically where a lot of the stuff goes down as this guy. We have three different various sort of vendors here um and i'm not really sure what any of them do so this one is some sort of statue this one i don't know this one we can give our um dirt clump to so let's do that he's gonna munch that up and give us some hp okay nice and then let's try bombing this dude maybe okay we did get something um we got ourselves the bloodstone let's have a little look see what the bloodstone does shall we 0.2 damage whenever an enemy dies, 1 damage when the player takes damage, damage bonus decays over time. Decent. And then we can pay money, I think that is, to grind up what we already have. And yeah, grind up what we already have for um, an additional bonus of soul hearts by the looks of it. And then maybe we can spend soul hearts somewhere, I'm not sure. Anyways, well, we'll leave for now. Um, we'll come back up to the floor. And we've got... Two reasonably good stones to start off with. Of course, this is Fiend Folio, so there's going to be a hell of a lot of enemies and stuff for us to, to fight, but so far, I'm really liking that stone that we got that has the uh, scaling damage bonus. That seems like it could be really useful. The Rolling Stone one doesn't seem all that good. I don't know if Rolling Stone is one that this character always starts with or if he starts with a random one. I'm going to guess he starts with a random one. Oh, he's using pills. He's using pills. We are using the reworked enemies and foes mod that has been updated to be compatible with Repentance. So that's pretty awesome. And also the virus. I don't know if this guy has anything different with his items. I'm not sure if anything with items has changed. But yeah, everything's basically been updated to work with Repentance on most things. Um, oh, that was a very bad hit on my behalf. But we might get a black eye out of it, so it's not all that bad. But yeah, that scaling damage bonus from getting hit is actually very impressive. And I think... I think this character can also smelt. So as you can see, there's actually a button in here as well. Um, so we can like go down to this floor from the item room. Um, but I think you can smelt the rocks onto yourself, but I'm not exactly sure how we how we go about doing that. Um, but we'll find out as we go along here. Uh, but so far, we need to kind of get some more money. Ooh, I like the look of these enemies. These, these guys that throw heads at us. Let's not worry too much about the HP that we're looking at at the minute, because to be honest, I think that for HP, we're probably going to be completely fine, considering we can trade in our stones for HP when we want. Okay, some of these heads just stick around, and then we can kill them after, I guess? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I really like this damage bonus. This is going to be super good. For the question of the day today, um, just because we're playing a new character and I haven't asked it in a while, what's a custom character for Isaac you'd really like to see? What's something that you'd like to see explored a little more? It's a question I've asked probably one or two times already, but it's been a while, actually. It's been quite a while. Um, we do have Curse of Decay, unfortunately, here, so some of these items aren't going to be as achievable for us, as you just saw. Okay, we're two-shotting these guys right now. I don't know why that uh, that didn't decay. Ooh. Okay, these guys are another head throwers. I love the enemies like that. They're so cool. Okay, that guy's just going to explode when he's near us. Let's go down. Okay, we also get one of these rooms in our boss room too, so we have a lot of access to it. We don't have to go walking back. That's actually really nice. I kind of thought you'd just have to trace back to the item room or the starting room every time, but it's nice to have <clears throat> access to this pretty much wherever we go here. Um, it's actually kind of an interesting thing to have it right on the door, and it's not in the way or anything. But yeah, we are losing our damage up a little bit here. I don't know whether to get rid of the rolling stone, to be honest. It's... It's decent enough, but it's not amazing. I feel like we could do a lot better with something else. 
But anyways, we got him taken care of. And we did get what seems to be another stern here. I'm not sure. Let's have a little look-see. Um, grants a familiar that um, wobbly points towards the nearest enemy or projectile blocks uh, shots and deals contact damage. Okay, so if we... Let's just quickly grab this and then we can go and chuck this one in the furnace, I guess. <clears throat> to get some soul hearts. I did not mean to do that, whoopsie. This might be a fairly long run, because just because we're discovering this guy, discovering what we can do with him. Um, so we want to be giving him this. And okay, so it's always one and a half soul hearts. That's pretty good to know. I like the way as well that you can use this as a hub to travel around the floor. You can go back to the item room or back to the starting room pretty easily. But we'll, we'll take this wibbly wobbly guy. We'll go down to the next floor. And I think, yeah, we need we need money right now. Money's kind of a big thing for us. But it's nice to know that you get a rock out of killing the boss as well. I didn't expect that. This guy doing a bit of extra contact damage is nice. Hopefully these fires don't stay around for too long. There you go. Yeah, I'm wondering how much it costs to um, whatever that... It looks like a drill, so I'm assuming it either re-rolls what we already have or digs up a new one. I would assume digs up a new one based on it being a drill. Uh, we got a disc, the shop disc, rather nice. That's 60 seconds of shop items. Um, we also got Book of Lucifer, which is great. We'll just use that now. That's damage for the floor. I'm just going to use this. Um, we got some good items there. Nothing amazing. Why not keep that? But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely on board to stick around. Ooh, I love these fires. They're so cool. Uh, I'm definitely on board to stick around with my... Oh, that was a good hit. My current setup of... Uh, Having this bloodstone. I think that the bloodstone's gonna be. Wow. Okay, deep pockets. We got deep pockets accidentally, like through that um through that shop thing, shop disc. Very, very good payout from that so far. Very, very good payout indeed. We got three nickels. We literally got enough for a shop item. Deep pockets, thank you very much. Let's 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 quickly fight our boss, shall we? Oh, and we got a champion version of this fella as well. Loving all these mods coming together. Whoa! You've got some new new looking tears, fella. You've got some new looking tears. That's cool. You've also got a what seems to be a twinkle in your eye, which is quite majestic. Oh, damn. This is cool. And your free trial has expired. Maybe we only got those for 30 seconds. I didn't feel like 60, unless I'm just going slowly here. I like having this um, this orbital to block bullets here. But I kind of went to do the boss first because I wanted to see what next stern I'd get. Um, so we have money now, so let's play around with that. Constantly fires a rotating laser. Sounds interesting. Okay. Let's quickly pop down here. Don't care about Devil Deal for right now. And okay, so we've got a new guy, which... Has got some sort of scalpel thing. Okay, I'm going to have to be a little cautious here. So let's first of all go back out. Let's drop our stones here. Let's go back out. Let's grab this other one and then we'll we'll try it with this one. Because like if it, if it re-rolls it, I don't want to re-roll one that I like. So let's, um, let's try it with this. It smelts it to you. Okay, so we're going to do that again. This is risky for our health. But smelting, I really like that animation there. And then here, so this might be the reroll one, but I still got to try it. It is. Lose all your soul hearts, grants um, a holy mantle and invulnerability for a period. Um, Now nah, let's reroll that again. Let's try and get something interesting. Periodically begins sucking in all nearby enemies. No, 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 no. Also works when dropped, but yeah, we won't, we won't go for that for right now. Um, grants the player a spinning laser and flicks random status. That's, that sounds kind of interesting. Ooh, that's really interesting. Okay, I like that. Cool. Okay, I think we've got some good stuff right now. Um, let's quickly go back to the rest of the floor here. I did notice something a little weird there. If, if we just come down here again, I just want to show something off. So look at the map. Then we come down here and... Oh, no. I thought I could see more of the map for some reason. But we can use this to teleport around, so I should be doing that. That's a really nice little additional feature of this guy. But I love that addition of, like, being able to smelt stuff to yourself. And that's a really, really cool way of doing things. Like, it's, it's pretty costly. So we, we do have to um, play around with soul hearts quite a lot. And uh, 
Make sure we're, we're trading in stones whenever possible. There is going to be a lot of back and forth as this character by the looks of things. A lot of backtracking. Um, but that's probably why this character is the one that gives you the ability to kind of teleport around. Now, I want to check my shop for a soul heart, but also to see if stones are sold. Um, we don't have any stones. We do have a new card, which I'll check out. Gift card. Let's just drop that and see what that does. Um... Rerolls um, item pedestals into mystery gift. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Okay, let's get out of here. Might as well do some additional runes. I don't know if they can drop from room rewards. So we'll, we'll find out as we go here. But of course, right now we're kind of in the market for some HP. In fact, I really should bomb this just in the happen chance that it rerolls into a soul heart. And it very much did because we very much need that. Um, and then we can go back through here and go to our boss room. And get out of here. I really like that. That's really cool. Gift card seems really, really crazy. Also, look at that little art for him there. He looks <laughs> he looks so great. I hope you guys like the thumbnail art as well. Never named has been doing some thumbnail art for the modded the new modded characters, as well as some of the other ones like the deleted and arachna and stuff to play alongside this series. Um so yeah, I really hope you guys are, are liking those, because I'm very much, very much like him so. And in case people are wondering, Skull, of course, still does art for me. Um but he's taken a little bit of a step back. Um, he's not doing quite as much. So never named. Felt like he wanted to do some stuff uh, for, for the channel. He just really uh, was was into the idea of drawing some stuff for me. So he's uh, done some of the modded characters for me here. But yeah, so far I'd have to say Golem is is a very very fun character. Um, these enemies scare me a bit, but I like this rotating status laser that we've got next to us that I feel like could be huge. Okay, just remember these guys can kind of teleport around. I'm trying to stay close to enemies to, impl uh, to apply stats effects when I can. Also, make sure to use our book whenever possible. The book gives us a small damage up, but it lasts for the whole floor. So we can use the book multiple times to get a lot of benefits. So this is a perfect example of where we want to use the laser as much as possible. Because if we can get, like, Rotten Tomato effect on one of these guys, um, it would be pretty huge slowing there. That's nice. Fear, that's actually pretty good for this guy. Nice, nice. We do have a, a challenge room here. I'll see what the item is first. We got a new one. Gives you a random planetarium item effect to every floor. That's pretty good. I would say that we probably need a little bit more before we decide to fight uh, one of those bosses. Because right now, I'm not really super convinced we can beat them because they're pretty tough. Uh, normally, I'd like to have more bombs and more health, uh, considering I just lost some. I should go to the shop, really, and see if they have a soul heart for us. I should have done that prior to even coming into this room, I'll be honest. We did get a burn heart here. These pennies, apparently, they just have a lot of different effects. One of them being that it can give you more money than it's worth. And that's what happened. Um, so that's a pretty nice effect for us to get. Uh, no soul heart, but we do have the ability for a crawl space here, which I'll definitely take advantage of. The crawl spaces are new now, as you can clearly see. Uh, there's some interesting ones. Soul Heart, very, very nice. And then... Hmm, okay. So, I'm going to leave that there for now. But I have a little bit of an idea. Because gift card, it's so good, but there's, there's going to be very rare chances for us to get more than one mystery box item. Uh, mysterious gift. Like, very rare. So what I'm thinking is we make sure we find our secret room first, of course, and then maybe we just turn that shop item into Mysterious Gift because it's going to be half price. Unless it'll make it full cost, which I'm not sure if that's the case. It might. Okay, these guys are a pain, so let's take... Oh, actually, no, these guys aren't the ones I was thinking they were. Um, ooh, this is a, another new enemy here. Whoa! We've got Farty Boy here. Anything that fires bubbles scares me. The bubble enemies are, like, so tough. Uh, let's do our boss now, because we're going to get another stone out of that. We did get Bumbo. Oh, he's, he's obviously going to get this coin. I, I'm going to say, you, you will not stop me from grabbing that coin, my dude. I need money. <laughs> money for rerolls and stuff, in case you give me something dookie. I'm keeping my, uh, my bomb here, just because I want to try and find a secret room. Don't know why I didn't get out of the way then. My speed's pretty low, to be fair. It's another spirit heart lost, though. <laughs> I just keep losing spirit hearts constantly. Pageant Boy's actually not a bad grab from this guy, I'll be honest. 
So we'll just grab that real quick. Sadly, not not a great haul. So we've got um, Act of Contrition and Job's Family. Spons um, I'll take Job's Family for now. I was going to say I could bomb this guy and get my gift, but then I'd have to leave my space bar item in here, which isn't a great idea. Um, ooh, that's straight up damage. Ooh, this is tricky. Okay, so I think what we want to do here is... Hmm. We really... Do we want to sell... Okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, I'll use my bomb here. What you got for us? Can block three hits per floor before breaking into pocket sand. Three hits per floor. That's pretty darn good. Ah, nah. I'm gonna. I'm still gonna sell it. I know it seems like a bit of a risk. Oh no. Okay, and then, unfortunately, I don't have the smelter boy here, which I was really hoping I'd have. Um. Anyways, let's now grab pocket knife here, and give us some extra damage. It's really nice. Job's family doing a good job for us here, and I think. I think we're out of here, but we should try and do the planetarium challenge. I realize it's a bit risky, but we have extra items now. I think the um, the stones that we have currently are really good. Yeah, I thought that guy would always pay out with one and a half. Turns out he can pay out with just one sometimes. The caves in this, uh, the, the holes in the floor on this floor look really good. I need to remember as well that I can bomb that statue thing. Whoa, what the hell were they? What were all these little gemstones that I just fired? That must be a planetarium item that we currently have based on the uh, the item we just picked up. I have no idea. Oh, wait, no, unless it's specifically a mechanic with this boss, which it might well be. This boss seems to be going down relatively easily, to be fair. I do not like this attack. Holy, that's a really brutal attack right there. Anyways, he goes down, we get our planetarium item, we got these gemstones around. Can we just keep those on us? Okay, that might be the item that we have, actually, by the looks of it. So it's, it's, it seems to be a pretty cool one, though. But we got, uh, I, th I think that means that we got a planetarium item that can give us a random planetarium, planetarium item that is from Fiendfolio, that also gave us another planetarium item that is from Fiendfolio. <laughs> I think that's what happened there. I wonder if something like the smelter, the actual item, the smelter, would be, like, super good as this character. I'm guessing it would work the same way, right? Okay, we do have some cursed pennies down here. We should probably grab them. That one didn't do much for us. That one did a lot for us. We're up to 30 cent there. So, it seems that the gemstones kind of stick into enemies and apply effects. There seems to be, like, some sort of armor break effect. Maybe lowering their overall HP. Now, we don't have any bombs, so I don't know if I want to go for this, but I feel like these chests are good enough and could give us bombs in return as well. The crab. Crab people. Oh god, they've got like crazy herming. Th these gemstones seem very strong. It seems to be... Oh, there was some creep there. It seems to be providing a lot of benefit to us. Okay, so of course it's going to take us a little bit of time, but I am going to move this over to the other chest to get two for one. It's really not that hard, to be honest. We got ourselves... Um, Kalu's Severed Head. It's held above the player's head and controls a, a cone of vision. Enemies in that cone of vision are frozen and take minor amounts of damage. Enemies killed while frozen burst into tears. I think that's new, so we have to take it. Justice. And then... Let's see if we can find our secret room, and then we'll maybe use the gift card on this floor. I'm a little apprehensive as to where it is right now, I'll be honest. I've got one main idea as to where it is. Otherwise, I'm a little bit stumped. Otherwise, I'm a little bit stumped. I'm a little bit stumped, I'll be honest. So, it could be here. I really don't know. Floors like this are difficult, but let's let's see how this works. Okay, that's cool. It's going to be a slightly longer floor, of course. We don't mind that. We don't mind that. 
It could be here. I'm just going to try here because it looks inviting. Okay, good. It, it, it was correct. And we got what seems to be a new trinket here, which is good. Uh, grants three wisps when entering a boss. Okay, this one we can just recycle. Um, so let's just go down here. I didn't realize the secret room would also have an entrance here. Let, this one we can just recycle. So let's um, let's do that. Get some soul hearts out of it. Just the one, but good enough. They've done a really good job of how this works. It's very cool. Right, so now we found our secret room. We can come back over this way. We can do the gift card, which gives us one... I know it's only one mysterious gift, but it's better than nothing. Um, and then we can come back around and actually use this in the secret room to see what we can get. It's not very good. It's probably one of the worst items we could get, but it is a soul heart at least. Which means that on the next floor... I'm guessing every other floor we have the ability to... Um, we have the ability to, what's it called, um, smelt. Otherwise, we're just going to be uh, sticking with what we've got in our pocket. Which is a good trade-off, really. It'd be, it'd be a bit easier if it was every single floor. Or maybe it's a random chance, but I feel like it's going to be every second floor. And then here, we've got bravery, extra damage against bosses. We like that. Oh, sadly, we cannot, we cannot get to that black thingy there. Oh, what, what we can do here real quick is... I need to remember I can do this. Maybe end up walking around floors like a crazy person otherwise. We can go around here. Go to our boss floor. Accidentally walk out the door. And be on our way. Very, very nice. Very, very good. I love the flooded caves here. I, they've got some hard enemies, but they're fun. Oh, we got Jupiter at this floor. So let's see how this works exactly. So we get a cone of vision here, and then, okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> If they die, they burst into tears, which then hurts everyone else. I like that. And then they throw them for a little bit after, so we have an extra chance to hurt them. I like it. Pilner, thank you for right now. I think our little dudes have got a good chance of killing them while they're frozen. Got some, some wet poop here. So far, though, very good item. Seems good on, like, weak enemies as well. Yeah, the chain reactions going off there are pretty impressive. Um, th This should give us Bookworm, right? Or am I thinking wrong? Okay, I'm right. I will pop this as well. I know that it'll give us a cube of meat, but still. We can play that guy if we want to. And I am somewhat tempted to. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I took this item in, in the end. It also makes just, like, entering a room way safer. Because the enemies are still. It gives you a bit of a time to assess. Which I feel on this mod is super important. Um, ooh, we do have a nice chest here. Temperance. I'll keep two keys available. <clears throat> Don't know why I did that. I'm trying to get like a blood bag or something. A little bit of a high expenditure there. Got a good amount of money out of that though. Right. Let's be on our way. This looks like secret room to me. That it is, that it is. I love it when I'm right. Right, let's quickly check inside here. So we do have the chisel dude, of course. He's a little risky to play right now. But I will chisel this, this to us. Thank you. Not for now, thanks. Right, keep going. Got a lot of money for re-rolling, if that's what we want to do. We're not struggling too hard on the rooms here. I'm a little bit struggling with our current speed, but that's obviously just because we've got um, Jupiter in this room. Or this floor, should I say, which we don't really want. Got our dummy thick cheeks slapping about the place. That's so strong. We got a bubble blower there. Bubble blowing bubble buddy. 
I like the way it works through walls as well. Not really found any tinted rocks yet, but then again, Fiend Folio tinted rocks are notoriously hard to see. Yeah, it's so good for just like stopping enemies in their tracks. But yeah, I think this is going to be a character that I like a lot as well. Because he's got a lot of risk reward involved with him. Like a lot of sort of... You've got to play pretty low health if you want to stack up your power. Or you want to like utilize... Ooh, these are interesting enemies. If you want to utilize the... Um, is that his brain? That is his brain. That is very much his brain. We would like to... No, 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 no. Don't get back inside him. That's a pretty cool enemy. I like that. Yes, that's so good. Here we've got a new item. Um, Peach Creep. Wall Creep Familiar that tries to line up with enemies and shoot bears of tears. Sounds kind of interesting. We'll take it. <clears throat> Peach Creep. I like the name. It's cute. Little old Peach Creep. Do your thing, Peach Creep. You're not doing a very good job of it so far, but I'll give you the benefit. Oh, there you go. You did it. Huzzah. Got some clam enemies there. Okay, we've got a shop here, which is very valuable to us. Can you get out from behind there, please? Thank you. What we got here, then? Spindle spawns three consumable discs. Discs grant effect of a few passive items for a minute. Spawns a disc when entering a boss room. That sounds awesome. So we'll take the shop disc. Decent. We'll take the devil disc. And we'll take the angel disc, which only gave us three that time. But there you go. Uh, and then let's just fight the boss now. Oopsie, I didn't mean to go down here. That is going to be one thing that I probably do quite often. Accidentally walk into boss fights and stuff. Uh, into the uh, thingy room. So we've got really good items for this floor, at least. Secret disc. I don't know why I really used it on a boss fight. It's not that, not all that useful on a boss fight, is it? Right, let's hop in here. Not a great item. We'll take it. A secret disc. Right, let's pop in here. I think I'm gonna re-roll. Oh wait, did we did we actually get one second? Did we actually get a a rock for our boss fight here? We did. It's an Eden's blessing looking one. Fossilized blessing. Grants a random rock trinket at the start of your next run when crushed. It's not all that good. I think we're going to do some re-rolling on that. It seems good for some runs, but not for right now. Okay, so let's um, let's re-roll this bad boy a little bit. What we got here. Stores an extra heart. Does not count against devil deal chance. Um, okay. Uh... Not really that useful. We'll reroll that again. All of our trials have expired. Plus four luck when taking damage, lose one luck. Ah, nah. Seems good, but we, we want something a bit more permanent. Doubles the player's tier size when crushed, activates three random. Um, let's say fossil effects. Colossal fossil. That seems kind of good. By crushed, does is this what crushed is? Let's find out. Or, or is this crushed? Dropping the trinket in a shop. It changed it for 10 to 20 cent. Nah, we'll keep re-rolling on this one. <laughs> Clears all projectiles on the room when taking damage. Spawns several... Um, some things. I can't tell because of my speed stat. Explosions cause rocks that deal two times tears to fall from the sky randomly. Falling rock projectiles are turned friendly. We don't have any explosions right now. Let's 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 keep a rolling. Fire tears that throw 15 damage brick that drops uh, on the floor afterwards. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. You can't actually. It's not like it's not like tough love. It's actually you throw the the, the physical brick. We got this thing again. Tears have a chance to become Herming skill with luck. Plus two damage to Herming Tears. That sounds really good. We'll take that. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the boss fight. Let's be on our way. Health isn't looking so hot right now, I'll be honest. 
I just want to get rid of this low, low speed that we have right now. <clears throat> the speed is kind of annoying me. Right. Let's keep moving through. I really like having these extra large tiers. Okay, we've got Saturnus this time around. Having these extra large tiers to me feels like a, a really huge get. Just because it's going to be so much easier to hit things. We can also activate our secret disc in a moment. We got two of the same item, which is kind of interesting. Some sort of massive brimstone that's going on. I really i am having a hard time understanding what's happening right now, I'll be honest. This, um... What in the... What in the sugar is going on here? Um, it seems that whenever I fire through through this um, strange device, it creates all manner of craziness. This seems to be an insanely overpowered item, and I have two of them. Right. Grant's tears um, homing for a short period after being fired spawns a magic card when crushed. And then we did have another one somewhere, didn't we? Oh, we picked it up. Okay, let me let me just drop it and see what it does. Look at affected chance to shoot crit tears that deal... Ooh. We do have minus one luck right now. Okay, let's let's go with the double homing effect ones. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, these things are just going off. My health is um, not so hot right now. <clears throat> I'm a little scared about my current HP, I'll be honest. Okay, we lost it all. Our free trial has expired. Yeah, we have a lot of herming going out now. Ghosties. Hello, ghosties. Oh, God, my health is not great. Okay, one thing we can do, actually, which I didn't really think about, is... Um, we can quickly go back this way and uh, crush down one of those other rocks. Like, grab that, take it down here. It's a little bit tedious to do this every now and again, but also it's quite necessary for the character. Um, so we want to come over here and sell you off for a soul heart. Thank you. I guess I'll check this out just because I might be able to sell it. Empowers every golem trinket you earn by a small amount. It's okay, but I'm just going to sell it for now. I need health. And then let's come back through here. And get this herming one again. I just like this. Grants tears herming for a short while as well as gives extra damage to herming tears. Sounds like a, a really good combo, to be honest. Okay, this is a little bit of a tricky room. These flies are a little bit annoying. Yes, I'm not looking to smell anything quite yet. I would like to smell both of these, but it's not a big deal if we can't. Oh, extra soul heart. That's fantastic. I love how the skulls look on this floor. Just got to remember, one thing that is a little bit deceptive about this run is we have significantly larger tiers than we um than, than than we actually have damage. So we need to just be a little bit aware that our damage isn't that high. In fact our damage is base. But this kind of goes to show how how, how powerful this character can be, because we're we're doing okay despite that. Bag of crafting I feel like is pretty much a must take at this point. I really like the um the other item we've got right now. But Bag of Crafting is just going to enable so many more items for us. A webbed heart. Thank you. Um, okay, so we do have what seems to be... Okay, so Bag of Crafting is, is doing all sorts of annoying things right now. I'm just going to take this for now. Uh, 25 plus, 25 plus 2.5 times um, luck chance for coin machines to be free. Okay, not that good for now. Let's go sell it off. I wonder if there's a limit to how many you can sell per floor. I wouldn't imagine so, to be fair. 
that puts our health in a really good spot. We can now do a little bit more trading if we wish to. Ooh, hello. It's greed. Okay, let's um let's bag a crafting most of this because we've I know I know we don't have a lot of money right now, but still. Uh and then we can base bar for Oh, we we did a bespoke recipe. I'm dumb. That was silly of me. Uh, although we can black rune that, which is not a bad shout, to be honest. We got range and speed, I think, there. Fool's gold rocks. I love the way the fool's gold rocks look. Game, if you could not do exactly what you just did there, that'd be absolutely fan dabby dozy. <clears throat> so... This will not result in that again, right? It didn't. Fiend Horn. Enemies have a chance to drop Fiend Minions on death. Minions disappear and room clear. Chance stats of 5% and scales 20% of 14. Look, a bonus chance is applied for any immortal hearts you have. That's pretty cool. You know, to see more stuff like that is awesome to me, so... Give me all the consumables you can. That was a, a big fail there. I got caught on the slick poop and kind of slid right into that guy. Slid right into his DMs. blood bag, which is going to give us some hearts that we can take. We haven't seen any new bosses on this run, though. There, there is like 28 new bosses, so I'm surprised I'm not seeing more of them, I'll be honest. I thought I'd be kind of be seeing them like two or three times a run. But not so much right now, not so much. Look at these guys. These guys are so cool looking. Scatterbomb, dude. Okay. Do our boss. Remember, this guy's going to drop. Oh, we got a disc. I always forget about that. Devil disc. I suppose the devil discs are kind of risky because they could give you stuff that you don't want. Or like, any disc really could do that. We got more of the void, though. I like more of the void. We got this, this, and this. Not very good, but I guess I'll take. Right, then... Let's just hide this a minute because it's pissing me off. 20% chance to apply doom to three enemies at the start of a room. That sounds really good. Uh, so let's quickly go down and smelt one of these onto us. I would rather smelt the... Um... Oh, we can't. Damn. Okay, let's, let's sell one then. Let's sell this one. As much as that was a really good combo... I like the uh, 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 idea of applying Doom at the start of the room. From what I know, Doom is like a stacking effect where it insta-kills enemies. I like the idea of stacking that on enemies quickly. Let's keep her going, shall we? Got you. That's a good item. I really like it, but right now I'll say no. Ooh, Soul Jacob and out is an easy bag up. Free trial has expired. I love the fact that it lasts for a certain amount of time rather than anything else. You see this, this effect above their head. That's doom. Rooms like this are just so awesome. The theming, the fiend folio, it's just so impressive. God damn. It's so weird having these large tiers and it takes so long to kill enemies. It really feels like we have so much more damage than we do. Kidney stone is, is very good. I'll definitely take that. That is a one. Um, I, I'm, I'm definitely tempted by that because our run is by no means great right now. Um, what I might do just in case it tries to reroll my bag of crafting is just quickly go and pick up this. I keep my bag of crafting. I don't know if it rerolls space bar items. I always forget. But I'm going to go and do a reroll because our, our run is it's got something to it. And we should keep all of our stones, I think. Yeah, all of our stones stay the same. Um, we got some really good stuff here. We got Holy Light, Lodestone. Um, we got that thing where whenever we use our active item, we get... Um, some fireworks. We got Glyph of Balance. We got the thing where we pick up soul hearts and get stats. We got pentacles. We got 
a new um, a new planetarium item that I don't recognize. Now, I'm not using um, Encyclopedia at the moment just because it adds a bit of lag. So, unfortunately, we can't see what that planetarium item does. We're just going to have to kind of figure it out. But it seems to be some sort of fly-related business. Bag of Crafting is back. Now, how does Bag of Crafting work with um, this whole sparkly effect? By the looks of it, it doesn't. <laughs> I'll see what happens when I actually spawn an item. It might do something when I spawn an item. But I think this is a significantly better run than we had before. Significantly so. Imagine Doom with um with soy milk. That would be insane. <clears throat> be able to insta-kill those enemies. God damn, this mod is so good. I'm in love. With this mod. Oh yeah, then we have bag of crafting to just get whatever we want. That's kind of why I left it on the pedestal, just to make sure we kept it. Glad that worked. Don't know why I spent so long grabbing all this. We do have three what seems to be eternal flies hovering around us, which could be the effect of the planetarium item. We also have that item too, which is pretty cool. We also have pretty decent health right now too. I do need to pick up some red hearts soon, to be honest, but I'm more invested in getting another item first. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. We also have slightly better luck, which is nice. Yum heart. God damn it. I think we just filled it with all hearts there. Although I can at least pick that up and use it. I keep doing the bespoke recipes by accident. Molten Dime is here. Molten Dime's an interesting one. Now, something I want to try with Molten Dime. Apparently, there is a trick where you can, like, pick up an item and then use it. I think it has to be a passive, though. I don't think an active would work. Damn it. <laughs> I took the gamble. I took the risk and I lost Bag of Crafting. I had to. Molten Dime is too tempting. Too tempting for me. Oh, damn, that guy. I, f I forget those guys split up into stuff now. <coughs> we can try and duplicate Yum Heart as well. But yeah, I think you got to pick up the item, then immediately use Molten Dime, and you have a chance to cheese it, uh, sort of. Right, let's do our boss. We don't get a disc this time, sadly. It's a bit of a depressy spaghetti. It's a really good item with the discs. Do we have like $3 bill going on or something there? Because we seem to have, um... Oh no, it was just Lodestone. Like sucking our tears in different directions. I was wondering what the hell was doing it. Coming down mod here proving to be very useful. Um, I didn't consider the fact that I can't get back to the rest of the floor. And I didn't... Yeah, I... I I didn't use any of the... Oh, that was that was pretty dumb. <laughs> I didn't really use any of the things available to me here. Trinkets always reroll to runes. Um, using runes drops a rune shard. Drops four rune shards when crushed. Eh, we don't really need that right now. Yeah, that was a little bit silly of me. Let's take Dark Path here. Um, we'll just go down. That was a bit of a shame. I didn't even notice this was the mother floor. Can we do a little more on this floor though, maybe? We do have this again. Chance to fire a high damage rock that inflicts blind and shrinks over time. It turns into pocket sand when taking explosive damage. I think we can just sell that for now, can't we? Some of these are interesting, but not really the style of our run right now. Um, let, Now that we've changed over our, our, our rune, let's try and re-roll the Doom one. It tears up, damage up, grants a random worm trinket at the start of the floor for the duration of the floor. Is this did we get a Roboros worm for the first fucking pull? We did. It's okay, we can re-roll it after. Let's let's let, let's stick with it for now and try and get some money and we'll come back to that. I just see what's going on with our uh, laser beam and I'm like, meh. Of course it's a Roboros worm. Those enemies are pretty brutal. Right, there you go, we got enough money now. Let's go back and re-roll that again. I like the stats. 
but and I would have been okay with pretty much any other worm. We're getting a Robber Ross worm on the first pull. No, thank you. Plus three luck. Um, that's pretty good. But I think we reroll again for something a bit more damage based. Tia Stager. A huge tears up. Pretty standard, pretty basic, but I like it. Damble. Damn it. <laughs> All stats up while actively pressing against rocks. Ooh, that's really interesting. That's that's so cool. That's such an interesting idea. That's gonna change our playstyle a lot. I really like that. That's so cool. Also, the the way this room looks is awesome. Does it work on the wall? No, it doesn't. It has to be specifically rocks. So, on, one problem is that on rooms like this, it, it tends to not really matter too much. But, that's a really cool idea for an item. I'd like to smelt that one onto me so I don't have to carry it around sort of thing. Less of a burden. Okay, these guys are just spewing out things regardless. I really like how many um, various different like things such as that, where they're like kind of objects rather than enemies that they've incorporated. I think that's a really good part of this mod. Okay, this thing's spewing at me. I stood against it and it started it started gurgling. That does not that does not fill me with confidence. I'll be honest. Considering we have a little bit of herming going on, I think that the pressing up against rocks thing works really well for us. Ordinarily, I'd say that it probably doesn't work so well. We have some rocks in here as well. Beautiful. Spawns a tiger eye familiar that fa uh, bounces around the room, dealing contact damage and blocking shots. Bounces directly towards the closest enemy. Bacon grease. Empty heart container. Shot speed. Minus one red heart. What? What? That's confusing. Um, I guess we'll take this and trade it. Give me some HP. Thank you. I'm so annoyed we missed on missed out on the smelter on the last floor, but we'll get him next floor. We've got plenty of health to work with now. Let's go down. Ah, I, I told you I'm going to end up going down to that floor way more often than I mean to. <laughs> We also have Molten uh, molten Dime here, which I think maybe might work on, on rocks. And I'm, I'm kind of going to try that out, to be honest. That, that could be an interesting tactic. Are you back, my sir? You are. Good. Okay, so we want to first smelt you. And honestly, let's smelt the other one as well. Good. Uh, okay. Um, Nothing else here, rocks-wise. We can come back and get some more later. So now we're, we're pretty much stuck on red health. Which isn't great, but we can deal with it. Oh, this guy's got, like, other dudes in him. Did he just do Nico there? Did he just get little cat ears going on? And he just blows up. Okay. Just press against the rocks and all will be fine. I'm just waiting for the herming shots to hit these guys, I'll be honest. Don't know how you survived for so long. Oh my god, calm down. <laughs> I absolutely love this press against rocks thing. It's so fun. Such an, a unique way to play. I always love things that promote different styles of, of gameplay. Promote different weird ways of doing things. I love that. They're, they're some of my favorite items. So now we get Bookworm. I think... <sighs> hmm. Or maybe we still don't get Bookworm. What the heck? I think I might take Book of Despair, you know. 
Because molten dime's good, but it doesn't work with our fireworks. And this does. And that seems way better to me. But look at the fireworks. You can't deny how cool they are. I feel like we have to stick with something that works with the fireworks. It's a pretty big all stats up as well. Oh, damn you. I was pressed against a rock. I didn't realize there was another one coming. You got me. You got me. At least we're getting consistent health drops, which are making our life a lot easier. We could actually go through here. Have we got a shortcut yet? I don't think we do actually, do we? No, we don't. I th for some reason, I thought we had a shortcut to the library. That's not how that works. Do you know what I've realized? I need really badly to um, open my window or like put my fan on because it is insanely hot in here right now. <clears throat> Insanely so. Right, so let's let's not mess around too much with this room. We can we can utilize the rock thing for a little, but we need to be mainly just moving about. Otherwise we're gonna get grabbed. Still one hand remains. Okay, good, good. I love the fireworks item. Such a good angel item. These guys are pretty cool as well. Right, let me quickly go and get a charge real quick. I want another charge for my boss. I love how like our character looks visually as well. Ooh, enemies that jump out the ground scare me a bit. Right. Mum, how are you? It is time. Wait until you've popped back down again. Until you've done all of your eyes. There you go. And then the fireworks incoming. I wonder if that would have triggered the stalagmites. No, the, the um, item we had where it was like it dropped stalagmites on explosions. I wonder if those explosions would count. We got a ladder for some reason. Also, the game. I don't know why, but killing mother there has destroyed the frame rate. I really have no idea why that's the case here. Oh, that's why. Gonna be honest, absolutely no idea what caused this. But it seems we have quite a lot of consumables on our hands now. Right, I'm just trying to open up everything I can to clean up as much as possible. Don't want to accidentally walk into this void portal. Okay. What are all these batteries we've got here? Turns all pickers and chests into trinkets. Okay, so quickly, first things first. Is there any other rocks in this room that we want? What does a store battery do? Activate the stored charge from your active item. Activate again to recharge active item. Can be used to overcharge actives. Becomes corroded on floor start after a charging. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, I think we want to... Wait. Turns pickups, chests, and not into trinkets. Well, that's very overpowered. Into trinkets? Why? <laughs> That seems insane. <laughs> Chains are the highest health enemy at the start of every room. Th there's too much going on here to simply understand. First of all, use all of these. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. One second, let me pause. Okay, now I'm good to go. Yeah, that is that is an insane, insanely strong card. Like, to the point of ridiculousness. Um, using active item shocks all nearby enemies. Yeah, we'll take that. Honestly, we can't really stick around for too long here. Um, fires a short range tech 2 that deals 30% damage. If holding another geode, fire two parallel beams instead. Hmm. 
We have a trail of lime creep that does 50% damage, penalty charms, um, citrus related enemies, more limes. Spawns two batteries. I'm trying to look at what all these do, but it's 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 honestly very, very difficult. I'll 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 own up to that. I have no idea what's going on here. So we definitely want that. Got a soul of Cain there. Overcharge all your actives, why Serious. not? Soul of Cain, just pop it, I guess. Where the hell's the Soul of Cain? There you go. This is too much to comprehend, I'll be honest. Primordial Fossil, uh, one five chance to sp um, sp fire a small barrage of mysterious liquid tea instead of normal. Grants golem starting fossils when crushed. Okay, so you always start with them. I think I'll just take these two for now. I'll be honest, there's so much going on in this room that I really don't want to get involved. Let's just go down to the dark path and be on our way, because yeah, there's just too much to comprehend right there. Way too much. That was a, a pretty weird bug. That was a pretty weird bug. Okay. Having large sized tears that are firing mysterious liquid every now and again, that seems like a win. That seems like a really good grab for us. Whoa, look at these enemies. Look at these rocks. On this floor, the rocks look awesome. Have we been to this floor yet? Whoa! Look at that thing. It's mental. God damn, we've got so many of these little hoppy jumper boys. I don't even know where they came from. we got some black holes in here. Which I tried to, to walk into. I thought they'd teleport me or something. There's a rock here that's got a bit of red on it. Okay, no. So m many of them have bits of red on it. Don't... Don't look too deep into that. What is this? Is like, I think it's like an enemy spawner. I got little eyes all over the place here. This guy's got a sword. Wow. Oh, we... Um, what the hell? <laughs> we got a bomb that, 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 that didn't de detonate. What, uh, what the hell? I was like stuttering there because I was so confused at what just happened. We also got a red bomb here that I think fired brimstone at him? Or did he fire brimstone at me? I'm having trouble understanding what just happened. Silver, he has been bested. Charms female enemies occasionally fire freezing tears. Sounds kind of interesting, but we're going to leave it for now. I realise we could get some health out of it, but at this point, I think we've reached lunacy. <laughs> I think I'm going to take Death Scythe here. Don't know what this item is, so I'm going to take it. Do not know what it is. It's a hammer. It's a hammer of some kind. I have rather large tears now. Picking up that might not have been the best idea with our current tier size, I'll be honest. I really like the tier size on the, uh, the, the fireworks, though, the rockets. Honestly, this is stupid. Rainbow poop there as well? Oh, these are the poop divers. I like these enemies. They're cool. <laughs> like, what the hell? Like, I, I don't... I don't even know if I'm capable of hitting some of the enemies here because my tears are that large. That electric zap doesn't seem all that good. Okay, that's ju that's that judgment enemy we saw last time that spawns enemies. It's not very good. Okay, we're really like waiting for a holy light proc or something along those lines, to be honest. There you go. Holy light procs do good damage. That's just a trap door. And some sort of small enemy. Oh, there you go. Hello. Crawl space. Not really much of value in here. Oh, there is an item. I didn't realize that. Fettered heart. Decent. What the heck? 
I gotta do a little jump. I love the gravity and some of the weird workarounds and crazy little puzzles people have made out of the gravity and those. They're so strange. Holy light! Stand back, lanky heathen. I don't know what them little torches do that light up when you get near them. Oh damn, that guy like chased me down. That guy like ran at me. I'm guessing this, this floor is going to have some really wacky enemies and difficult ones, but our tears are so large that I, I really can't think we'd have too much of an issue with them. Whoa, these guys are cool. I just love seeing them all. What's this? Activates the D2, throwing it onto the floor. Any pickups, enemies, tears get rerolled. Interesting. And now I'm just kind of saving my charge for the boss. I feel like it's close, even though there's many rooms ahead. Ops curse, why not? Why are we getting so many red heart drops as well? I seem to get one every time I need one. These little ghost boys are just going to wander around, I think. There's a soul heart there, we'll grab that. Rooms with rocks really don't vibe very well with us, I'll be honest. I can't seem to hit that guy at all. Like, look, we just got a red heart right when we needed one again. Webbed heart. Which I think was a soul heart when I last entered that room, so strange that it transformed. Mr. Mega. It's the lamb. All we need is a few good holy light shots. And he's getting bested. Didn't even need the holy light shots, apparently. Okay, beautiful. Things got a little crazy on that run, but goddamn, Gollum, I love you. You are a very fun character. I'll be playing you a lot more. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.